In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all today. Good morning, everybody now, and you're welcome to Mass on this second Sunday of Easter, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday. In recent years, it's been appointed as the second Sunday after Easter. It's always been called Divine Mercy Sunday. Even though a week has passed since Easter, Easter Sunday, this liturgy is still filled with the good news of the resurrection. Jesus risen from the dead. We we'll continue to celebrate this great event for the next six weeks until Pentecost, the 50th day of the Easter season. Today we praise God for the life and love poured out to us in the raising of Jesus' his Son. For a moment now we pause. Your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of mercy. Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ your mercy. You raised your Son Jesus from the dead, giving us all a hope and a share in the everlasting life. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, and Mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very occurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindle the faith of the people who have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, and by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. We make these in all our prayers, through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. On this Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday, we listen to God's word today. In the first reading, the reading from the Acts of the Apostles today, the early Christians were united as one. They shared with anyone in need. And John, the second reading, tells us, that as we are all one in Christ now, one body, strengthened by the Spirit. We listen now to God's word today. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The Apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. The word of the Lord. Response. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say his love has no end. Let the sons of Aaron say, his love has no end. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love has no end. Response. Thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Response. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Response. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ... Has been begotten by God. 
And whoever loves the father that begot him, loves the child whom he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children, if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. That is what loving God is, keeping his commandments, and his commandments are not difficult, because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man that believes Jesus is Son of God. Jesus Christ, who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth. The Word of the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading is taken now from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to your Lord. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, the doors were closed in the room where the disciples were gathered for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and he said to them, Peace be with you. And he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. And he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those who sin you forgive, they are forgiven. For those who sin you retain, they are retained. Thomas called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. And the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered. Unless I see the holes that the males made in his hands and put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, but Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. And he spoke to Thomas, Put your finger here, look, here are my hands. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer but believe. Thomas replied, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, You believe because you have seen me. Happy are those who have seen and yet believe. Now, there are many other signs that Jesus worked in, the disciples saw, but they are not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. The second Sunday of Easter, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday in recent years, Jesus said to the Gospel today, Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and see my hand. Give me your hand, put it into my side. Doubt no longer but believe. Talk about a bad press. Thomas has gone down in history as a doubting Thomas. The early feast of Easter lasts now for 50 days, all the way to Pentecost Sunday. Why so long? Well, because we are so slow to realise what it all means. We need to be reminded again and again what the resurrection really means. Some things in life we learn once, like telling the time or tying your shoelaces, but the resurrection of Jesus is only fully understood gradually. In fact, it takes a whole lifetime. Only as life unfolds do we, like Thomas, come to say, I believe. Thomas wasn't there that first morning. He was not there. We don't know why. At times we can be the same. There are times when we are not present, we are busy, run off our feet, or the struggles of life. I can't pray. Sometimes we may feel that God has given up on me. This Easter, we continue to ponder on what the resurrection is all about, what it means. We pray for all of us gathered here today, or of course, through the modern communication now, in, in recent years, last year anyway, gathered here, of course, through the um, Facebook, especially the Nottingham groups, unfortunately, not yet anyway. We pray, may the risen Lord, risen Lord change us here in our parish, May we not be discouraged at our lack of faith at times. Thomas the Apostle shows us doubt and faith go hand in hand. Thomas, who we remember on the second Sunday of Easter each year, is an important figure. Far from being a lonely figure, and I say it in the centre, he represents all of us here. Rather than raising doubts, he reminds us that the risen Jesus offers even the most unconvinced the power to believe. Indeed, this Sunday, the Sunday morning, the risen Lord praises us too. 
Happy we have not seen him, and yet we believe. The message of Easter is one of hope, new life, new beginnings for all God's children, all God's people. This Easter time, we should truly rejoice because he is not dead, he is risen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. As we gather down the second Sunday of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday, we pray the Apostles' Creed. As we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from there he come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The response is, Risen Lord, hear us. Risen Lord, hear us. That the Church in our age may once more achieve a full flowering of the faith, so that its light may shine forth to all nations. Response, Risen Lord, hear us. That come what may, we may never lose faith in the goodness of each human being, even when goodness is difficult to see, Lord. Response, risen Lord, hear us. That by our actions, doubters will have closed the doors of their minds, open and their faith restored. Response, risen Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick of our community. May the strength of the risen Christ touch their lives and bring them comfort. Response, risen Lord, hear us. We pray for those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. May they find in Christ's presence light, happiness, and peace. Response, risen Lord, hear us. Our Mass, the Sunday is offered now for Jimmy and Margaret McGivern, also remembering McGivern and the Morris, deceased members of their families in our Mass today. Also, Jack Monahan of Cruistown. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let the light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We make these in all our prayers to Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. So blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness now today we are bred to offer fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it has become for us the bread of life. Humanity, yeah. <clears throat> blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness now we have wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it has become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. So pray now, my friends, that a sacrifice these gifts will bring today will be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to hands, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you now. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks. But especially at this Easter time, above all, to praise you even more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death, by rising, and restored us to life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land of the people praise your name, Lord. We too join the saints and the angels as we say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray now, by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and enter willingly into his passion. He took some bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And therefore, as a celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life here and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring us the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tom, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember in the Mass today now, Jack Monahan of Proustown, Jimmy and Margaret McGivern, also remembering the deceased members of the McGivern and the Morris families over the years. Remember them, Lord, your servants, whom you have called out of this life to yourself. Grant that they, who died for a son of death like his, they too, of course, will enjoy the resurrection. Remember, indeed, all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of heaven. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Saints, and the Martyrs, St. Thomas today, remember, and all who pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to coerce to eternal life with them, and may praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. But through him, with them, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Gathered now in this divine mercy Sunday as God's family, we pray in the words of what Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Together we pray for peace in our world. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And on this Divine Mercy Sunday, we offer you all at home especially the sign of Christ's peace and of the risen Christ, peace in your homes and your hearts this Easter time. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Fine and bad, you know? Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy we are caught with the table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but when I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring us all to everlasting life. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails. Thomas, doubt no longer, but believe. Hallelujah.
sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving in every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving in every moment thine. And O sacrament most holy, or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving in every moment thine. And may I conceive without sin, pray for us the recourse to thee. Come to end of Mass today, this Sunday. It's a Divine Mercy Sunday, as I said already. It's, it's been designated Divine Mercy Sunday in recent years, of course, especially Sunday, set aside after Easter. Mass this morning was offered now for Jack Monin of Cruistown, also Jimmy and Margaret McGivern, and the McGivern and the Morris families, deceased members of the Morris families, and the McGivern families of over, of course, in the parish of Kibed. Remember them and the families at this time. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let fetch a light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Once again, just draw attention there. Contribution envelopes may be delivered through the side door in the parochial house in, in Quebec. Thank you for that. In recent times, in recent days especially. And here in number then, School on Bosch to the local national school are taking enrolments from September for this September. Forms available from the school are on our email at the office at um, onbosch.ie. Troker boxes then finally. Troker boxes and um, money's return this Sunday, Divine Mercy Sunday. You can use a troker box or your envelope. And you can leave even the parish here if you want to, even the, in the Pogan House. And then one more thing, sorry. Items for the bulletin in Nobber anyway. All materials submitted for inclusion in the bulletin must be, have a contact name and a phone number and must be in the parish office by midnight on Thursday because um, the secretary will um, print the bulletin on Friday. So just uh, a reminder of that. Thank you for that. So that's everything now. So end of Mass today on this Divine Mercy Sunday. With the final prayer and blessing we pray. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that a reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our daily li lives, in our minds and in our hearts. We make these and all our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you now. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing, the Easter blessing. May Almighty God bless you to today's Easter celebration and in his compassion defend you from all worry. Amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his Son endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now in the days that the Lord's passion has drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Easter time come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to this peace that lasts forever in heaven. Amen. Almighty God bless you now today. In the name of the Lord, of the Spirit, Nave. Amen. Our Mass has ended now. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Our Mass ascended now. Go in peace.